Hello everybody, in this lesson I will discuss nominal and effective interest rate as well as three examples. Now what is a nominal interest rate? The annual interest rate that is quoted. I-NOM is the symbol used for the nominal interest rate. M represents how often interest is compounded each year. In other words, yearly, monthly, quarterly, half yearly. Effective interest rate. That one is the actual interest rate achieved per annum. IEFF represents the effective interest rate per year. Now with this example, I'm going to explain to you the correlation between the two rates. If 100 Rand is invested at 8% per annum for one year, compounded monthly, calculate the value of the investment at the end of the year. Now P is 100, N is one year times 12 because it's compounded monthly is 12. I is that rate of 8% um, as a percentage, 8 divided by 100 is 0 0.08 divided by 12 into the formula. Now, A equals P is 100 bracket 1 plus 0 0.08 divided by 12 raised to the power of 12. And then when you work that out, you see A is 108 Rand and 29 cents. Now, this means that the actual percentage increase is 8,29%. And the 8% per annum rate is called the nominal rate. And the 8,29% rate is called the effective rate. Now the formula that we will use when converting the nominal and the effective interest rate is the one down there. Now that one is not on the formula sheet and it's a, it's a really a difficult one to remember. But let me show you where it comes from. Maybe you can also deduct your own formula in the exam. Now this is a familiar equation. A equals P bracket 1 plus I times N. And the compound interest, A equals P bracket 1 plus I to the power of N. Now, since both of them are equal to A, we can equate them. There you go. Now you can say that P and P will cancel. And you're left with 1 plus I times N equals 1 plus I to the power of N. Now, on the left-hand side, you add on I, you say I, E, F, F, effective. And then on the right-hand side, you will change the I into I nominal. And then remember, when you're dealing with compounded interest, it's quarterly, monthly, half yearly. So then you will always adjust your I. So now you divide your I by M and you multiply your N by M. And then your equation turns into this. Now, what happened here was now all of this is happening in one year. So in N's place, you substitute a 1 there, and in N's place, you substitute 1 over there. And then anything times 1 is anything. So on the left-hand side, there's your formula. 1 plus I if effective equals 1 plus I nominal divide by M raised to the power of M. And there's your formula. Now you cannot get this wrong in the exam ever again. Let's do an example. Convert a nominal interest rate of 8,4% per annum compounded monthly to an effective interest rate. Now our M is 12 because it's compounded monthly. And I nominal is the 8,4% divided by 100 is 0 0,084. There's our formula. So we are looking for interest effective rate equals 1 plus 
0.084 for i nominal and m is compounded monthly. Therefore, I will make m 12 raised to the power of 12. And then on the right hand side, I slot all of that into my calculator and I end with 1.08731. Now, the 1 will walk across and I will subtract the 1 there and I end with I effective is 0 0.08731. I subtracted 1 if you want. And then as a rate, remember, we have to multiply by 100. Therefore, our effective interest rate is 8.7%. In this one, determine the nominal interest rate compounded semi-annually. Remember that means half yearly, which results in an effective interest rate of 12.5% per annum. Give your answer correct to one decimal place. Now, the, in, the effective interest rate was 12.5%. Divide by 100, therefore it's 0 0.125 into the formula. The effective interest rate, 1 plus 0 0.125 equals bracket 1 plus I nominal. Divide by 2 because we are working this out semi-annually and then the M is raised to the power of 2. Then... 1 plus 0, 0.125 is 1.125. And now I want to get rid of this square over there. Therefore, I will take the square root of 1.125. In the next step, the 1 will walk across and it becomes the square root of 1.125 minus 1. And then in the next step, I'm going to calculate that and I will multiply away the two, both sides. Therefore, the square root of 1,125 minus 1 is this 0, 0,06, etc. And then I multiplied with the 2. And then I end with the nominal equals 0, 0,1213. But remember, they want it as a rate and correct to one decimal place. Therefore, I have to multiply by 100 to turn it into a percentage and therefore your answer the nominal interest rate is 12.1 percent calculate the effective annual interest rate of a nominal rate of 25 percent per annum compounded quarterly this is important the fact that it's compounded quarterly now there's our formula we are looking for the effective interest rate equals 1 plus. The nominal rate was 25%, therefore I norm is 0, 0.25. Divide by 4 because compounded quarterly and raised to the 4 quarterly. And then when you work the right hand side out with your calculator all in one go, you end with 1,274, etc. And then the 1 will walk across and you will subtract it. Therefore, let me show you, I subtracted it and then I end with 0, 0.27442, etc. As a rate, I will multiply by 100. Therefore, the effective interest rate will be 27,44%. Another example. If the nominal yearly rate of interest is 7,79%, calculate the effective yearly rate if interest is compounded daily. Ah, oh, we haven't had one of these before. Therefore, into our formula. We are looking for the effective interest rate, 1 plus IEFF equals 1 plus. The nominal interest rate was 7,79%. If we divide that by 100, we end with 0, 0,0779. Now our M is 365 because it's compounded daily, raised to the power of 365. The right-hand side, we slot it into our calculator and we end with 1,0779. 
1,081. Then the one will walk across and it's 1,081 minus 1 equals. And then on the left, effective interest rate equals 0 0,081. But as a rate, multiply by 100. And we end with the effective yearly interest rate will be 8,1%. This is such an important topic that in the next lesson I will discuss even more examples on nominal and effective interest rates. Click on the video in the left hand corner to take you straight to the next lesson.